Angie from TheSquishyMonster.com and today I'm going to share with y'all something very exciting. I don't watch any TV at all, but I will make an exception for The Walking Dead and Breaking Bad, which is premiering this Sunday. And I wanted to have something fun to accompany me. Instead of Junior Mints or the conventional popcorn, I'm going to tuck these in my purse and snack on them throughout the night watching this premiere. And it's going to be Shattered Blue Hard Candies, so hang out with me and I'll show you exactly how to whip this up. These are the only ingredients that you'll need, so it's super simple, very easy, and quick. So you'll need some sugar. I have some regular granulated sugar. And then drip in some corn syrup. And if you first spray it with a little bit of cooking spray, it'll slip right out just like this. And then the third ingredient, after everything is cooked together and bubbly, you want to add in a little bit of color. And it's not important like with buttercream to use gel because it won't really affect the consistency, so you can use your inexpensive blue watercolor in this instance. Then you just want to go in there and give it a nice whisk, and you're going to add in that blue color and that tint after it's bubbly. So just mix it, it's going to be clumpy, it's totally fine, and then when it's all mixed together you can add in some chili powder. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you can add in a little bit of salt to kind of balance out the sweetness from the corn syrup and from the sugar. So I'm going to pop this in the microwave covered with plastic for about three minutes and different microwave temperatures will vary depending on how strong it is. But you can also do this over the stove top if you'd like, but how easy peasy is the microwave? You just pop it in there, set it and forget it. Just taken out my cup at the three minute mark and it'll be a light amber color and you want to be careful and slowly take off the plastic because you're going to discard this one and put a new one on top you don't want that condensation to kind of seep in there. So take that off. And you don't want to stir and you want to cover it with the new plastic and pop it in there for an extra three minutes. And just keep your eye on it because you don't want it to be an overflowing sticky mess. So just be near and make sure the vessel that you filled your candy in is large enough to kind of hold it all together. This is the part you want to work really fast. You want to uncover the plastic and then drip in little drops of your blue color. And now you can stir, be very quick about it, sizzle. And if you want to, you can put some flavorings in here at this moment as well. And I have some parchment or some silpat standing by because I want to pour it on there and let it harden. So be careful because it is hot sugar and just pour it onto your prepared surface. Look at that, how cool looking is that? This would be really cool to do with your kids as long as you're watching them. After about 15 minutes time, cooling in the refrigerator, it is now ready to smash into a million shimmering pieces. So to get those little pieces, you wanna shatter them with, I'm using a mortar and pestle, just that part of it, or you can use the bottom of a dull knife or really anything. You can use a rolling pin and just kinda of crack over it. But now comes the fun part, you can just go in there and smash. What you end up with are these blue sparkling sapphire pieces like this. And you can put them in little glassine or little candy bags or whatever you want to serve them in. And they're really fun and perfect for Breaking Bad. <laughs>